Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Ajlam here. Thank you so much for tuning in. And if this is your first time of coming across my channel, kindly subscribe and turn on the bell icon so that you'll be the first to know anytime I post a new video. And for my returning subscribers, thank you so much. So for today, I am going to teach us how to cut and sew a statement sleeve or a leg of mutton sleeve for a baby girl. So if you're interested, keep on watching. A pattern paper and I'll be using a 10 year old sleeve measurement to draft out this. So I'll start by marking out the sleeve length which is 14 inches. I'll be making this a 3 quarter sleeve. So I'm going to mark out my 14 inches now and connect that to a straight line. So here this is the length that I'm working with. This is 14 inches like I said earlier. I'm going to mark a one inch by the side. This is just for, it's nothing much, just if you want to add maybe an allowance, this is going to be the allowance. I'll just mark this out one inch down and then I'll connect. So this is what I have. This, like I said earlier, is just for seam or your sewing allowance by the side. So after marking this out now, the next thing is to mark out the ample measurement or the amp side measurement, whichever one you prefer to call it, which is six and um, quarter. And this is the point here. So I'm going to mark that out and connect to a straight line. I'm going to rush this part because I already have a video on how to draft a basic sleeve. Actually, I am starting with a basic sleeve. So I'm going to mark this out now and connect to a straight line. So this is my armhole line or the armhole. Like I said earlier, I am using six and quarter and this is a 10 year old baby girl sleeve measurement. So the next thing to do is to mark out the bicep measurement which is 12 inches. I'm going to mark 12 inches now. You can either start or end on this line. So I'm going to mark the 12 inches and connect to a straight line. So uh, here I have it marked out. This is the 12 inches, which is the bicep measurement. And this line is just the midpoint of that, which is six inches. As you can see, I just connect that to a straight line. So on this part now, I'm going to mark half an inch on both sides. Okay, this is half inch and this is half inch. So from here now, I'll connect it to this end and I'll also repeat the same on this other one. So after connecting, we are going to divide the six that we have now on each of these sides. Okay, so now I'm going to mark out, I'm going to divide, remember from here to here is six, and from here to here is also six inches. So I'm going to divide that into three, and that will be two inches each so this is the point two inches two inches and the last one and i'll also do the same on this part and then i'll connect all to the straight line and i'll repeat the same on this other part so here as you can see i just connected it i have two inches each of these lines okay like I said earlier, you just divide that into, into, sorry, three places. Now you can see that I have three places here, which is six. Okay, so this is to enable you know where to mark to get the the sleeve or the accurate sleeve pattern. So now you are going to notch or mark this point of intersection on these lines. Okay, so from this first point now, I will go down by half an inch. So like I was saying, from this point, you have to go down by half an inch, which is here. And on this point, I'm going to go up by half an inch as well. Sorry about that. Okay, and on this other point also, you will go up by three quarter inch, which is this point here. Okay, so now we are going to connect the points. Now you see the way I am placing my French or my armhole for brother. So you're going to make sure that those points touches together and then you connect. You 
okay and then i'll turn this over now to connect it back to this center line is as easy and simple as that so i'm going to repeat the same on this other one okay and then you connect so here the basic sleeve is ready okay so this is the shape that i have on this part now i am going to mark the round the sleeve measurement which is 10 inches so i'm going to place it this way making sure that the five is on this center line okay and then you connect it back and your sleeve pattern is ready so i'm going to cut this out now and then we we'll start the statement so we we'll start how to draft and sew the statement sleeve. Okay. So here is the basic sleeve. This is the front, and this other side is the back. Okay, so now I'm going to from this armhole line, I am going to mark 1.5 down and connect that to a straight line. Okay, this is where I want to use because I want this other side to be as it is. So I'm going to mark out 1.5. You can also decide to make it one inch. Okay, it's up to you. So I'll just mark 1.5 and then connect that to a straight line. So this is the line. I'm going to cut it off from that line because we're going to alter only this part. So I'm going to cut this off. And remember that seam or sewing allowance is not included yet. I'm going to do that before or rather when I'll be cutting out on my main fabric. So I'm going to keep this aside. And this is the part that we're going to alter right now. Okay, so now to do that, I'm going to take my tape and measure what I have from this midpoint to this part so if I check that I have this is 9.5 so I'm going to divide that into two and mark the point which is four and quarter so this is the midpoint okay I'm going to repeat the same on this other side so here this is the midpoint and here this is the mid point I'm going to connect that place now to this point here and I'll also connect this other one as well okay so after connecting now it's time to slash this pattern and then place it on another one and then we are almost done with this I'm going to take my scissors now and slash it open I'm going to open it up, okay, and then I'm going to open this. I'll be leaving like a quarter inch or very little inch there, and then I'm going to open this part also, and I'll repeat the same on the second one. So you can see I have a very little inch right there. This is what I have. I'm going to repeat the same now on this other one and then i'll place this on a new pattern and to draft out the statement so. okay so here i have a fresh paper i'm going to take this part now and just use my uh, cello tape to hold it down this is just to give me a guide where this line is because for this part now I'm going to gather the lower parts as well okay so that's the reason why I cut this off so I'm going to hold this down now with my paper tape and then and then I'm going to bring this now
okay so now i'm going to take this remember this is where it should be okay this is how it is so now i'm going to move this now okay and i'll be making a one inch wideness it's going to be one inch okay so this is one inch right there and i will also move the rest using one inch as well this is one inch you can also make it 1.5 depending on how full or the volume of your sleeve how you want it to be so i'm going to use my paper tape now and then secure it very well so as you can see i have them one inch apart or distant from each other and i'm going to make uh, make the last one one inch as well and we are almost done with this sleeve okay so i'm going to repeat the i'm going to use the second one and also repeat the same thing i just did now before we now trace it out and then cut on our main fabric okay i'll also place it as well like i did and then i'll use my tape to secure Okay, so now I'll move this way it's very easy you can just follow just place it making sure that it matches with this and then use your uh, paper silly tape and then hold it down okay and it's just as simple as that Okay. and we have it ready so now the next thing to do is to trace it now out this is the new that we have okay but before tracing it out i'm going to connect the center line up this is going to give me a guide to know where my to know where i'll be closing it up from this upper side okay so i'm going to this is the center line now Okay, so I'm going to use my hand now and trace it and then from this point now, I'll just move it up that way and I'll take that to this other side. Okay, now you can see that it's very easy. This center line will just give you a guide to know how to curve this upper part. This is my own way of going about this. You can also try this and you will see that it's very easy so now i'm going to trace the remaining part of this and then i'll cut seeing it this is what I'm, i have i'm going to remove this now remember i use this just as a guide okay so this is what i have so for this lower part, I'll be adding a little um, gathers to this part. So all I have to do is to, is to add, you can decide to add just two or three inches depending on how um, how you want the volume of your gathers to be. Okay, so for this part, I don't want it that much because this other end is already busy. So I'll just add extra two inches to this line. So what I'm going to do now is to cut this now out when i'll be cutting on my main fabric because i don't have enough space on this part so when i'm cutting on my main fabric i'll now add two inches on this straight line So here I have my pattern on my fabric. Like I said, I'll be adding two inches only on this part. So I'll be making it two and quarter. The quarter is for my sewing allowance. So this is two and quarter right here. You can also make it more than this depending on the volume you're trying to 
achieve so this is the point i'm going to pin this now and then cut I have here I just cut this out now and this is the other part I'm going to give my fabric a good press and then we're going to start by sewing these parts that is very important so let me just give it a good press and then we continue so now we are going to gather these parts like I said earlier I'm going to mark out 4.5 okay and then I'm going to notch that point. I'll also mark the same on these other parts and notch. This is 4.5 right there. So I'm just going to notch it now. This is where I'll start or end the my gathers. Okay. So I'm going to take this now to my sewing machine and use my gather stitch and run it from this point now all the way to this other Point and I'll also sew this part. Remember that we're going to gather this part even though this this side is going to be a little gather. So I'm going to do all that so that we can round up this tutorial. So here as you can see I just did that. When you're cutting on your fabric make sure to add your sewing allowance as well. So I'm going to start now by pulling this gently. I'm going to pull to like get to the other end and I'll also do the same on the, the lower part which is this area After pulling it this is what I have as you can see it's already looking beautiful already and when you finish you make sure that what you have here matches remember that we used when I divided the midpoint on the basic sleeve it was um, uh, it was nine or nine and quarter rather so when you finish you make sure that what you have is nine and quarter so this is it I'm going to join this now to this part I'm going to pull it until it's the same length or the same measurement with this but then I'm going to join it together and we are almost done so after joining it this is what I have okay although there are several ways of going about this um, statement sleeve okay and I'll be showing you the different method in so my subsequent videos okay so I'm going to, this is it the next thing to do now is just to join it to the dress and like this you can also add lining or interfacing if you wish and it's going to look more it's going to look more beautiful than what i have okay so this is how to go about cutting and sewing a statement sleeve or a leg of mutton sleeve for a baby girl so that is it for today please subscribe if you have not and i'll see you all soon